there's also absolutely no question that bad things happen. And as Assemblyman Bramnick said, we must have the financial flexibility to deal with potential future hurricanes, economic collapse, terrorist attacks, public health crises, or any other kind of unpredictable challenges. So why not follow the lead of the federal government? In 2011, Congress passed a law that required automatic cuts in popular programs if Democrats and Republicans could not agree on how to fund important obligations. And no less a personage than President Obama praised what is called the sequestration approach as follows. He said, the whole design of these cuts was to make them so unattractive that Democrats and Republicans would actually get together and find a good compromise of sensible cuts as well as closing tax loopholes. It was all designed to say, we can't do these bad cuts, let's do something smarter. I would be delighted to support ACR 3 if it offered such a mechanism to force us to do something smarter to achieve consensus on how to do right by state employees without wreaking havoc on taxpayer pocketbooks. Now, I offer to you, Mr. Speaker, to the bill sponsors, that many in our caucus, many of us would love to work with your caucus on a list of cuts that would kick in without debate every year unless and until we make good on our pension promises. Will you take us up on that offer? Have you concluded, Assemblywoman? Or? Was a, that was a question. I'm still willing really if, to if it's, a, if it's a question, John, uh, uh, speaker, speaker, I, I, speaker. I, I, will, I will take that as a question. We actually did that in 2011. We came together. Governor Christie went nationwide that this was the best thing that was done, that it was done bipartisan. As I said before, it was going to save $120 billion over 30 years. So we have done this already, but we had to pay into it. We have put budgets forward with the payments in it. So you know what? We did do this already. So we have done it, and that's why we're here today. Please, through the chair, yes. Uh, through the chair to the speaker, with very deep respect, um, I suggest that that is off the bill because no, no, we're, 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 we're not talking about what you, may or may not you, have You happened. said if we can come together. Talking about ACR 3. Yeah. Uh, through the speaker. Yes. Uh, the question was, would we come together on another bill, not on this one? So I actually did the same and said we have come together, so you were not on this resolution either. And that's the reason I used that analogy to sort of answer your question. Okay. Well, now I understand. So the answer to, is no. Okay. Thank you.